This is Cynthia Ortiz. It is the 21st of February, 2022. And boy, howdy, it's been a busy fucking day. Boy, they want my car. Duly noted, but you have since 2019. I think we've said that. I think we've said that over and 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 again over and over. What does that say? August 23rd, 2019. 19, 20, 21, 22, three and a half years ago. Every fucking day since this was recorded, Perry told everybody who had listened in Manford. It's not legal. It's not legitimate, but I'm going to have her car towed and sold before she figures that out. David has been recorded over and over, and Charles, over and over, hundreds of them. Take her car, get her kicked out, and get her out of Oklahoma. It's none of your business. You're buttoning in, both of you. So we, again, uh, today, they've gotten recorded. They were chomping at the bit, hoping I would um, work today, I guess. And um, my guys are sitting there listening to everything they say. They always do. Every day, Mr. Perry and Mr. Roberson, since this was recorded, you guys got recorded saying this. My guys have the recording. I'm just quoting the recording. I don't actually have the recordings. They do. I don't have any way to get that information from you and get, you know, and have that. The police helping me do. They have it. You know, the police on the uh, sexual exploitation case where you put cameras in women's home, use their body, their property, their utilities, to make a profit and to get entertained yourself those cops nobody's caught us like this before nobody's built this ever before nobody's sued us before when he pesters her and takes her money we see th things don't go well for us we're seeing things happen we've not seen before those are your guys every day mcnamara email was the first that you know of that's the first time i was able to type aloud to type something up and put it out. It was a very serious deal. He's trying to false arrest you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me put that out. They didn't want anyone to know there even was an investigation. Mr. Perry got recorded so many times talking about killing me. They figured at least he should know there is one. That way, we, maybe it's a deterrent. You won't end up dead. He threatens me with death and arrest, taking my car, economic loss, fucking every day. Coercion is a crime, Mr. Perry. You need a better attorney. Your attorney, actually, you don't have attorney client privilege with Mr. Warman because he's part of the crime. There is no attorney client privilege when that happens. So that's pretty much the case with all of you. Uh, somebody goes, uh, the governor's mad. Why is the governor mad? Isn't the governor against domestic violence? If he's looked at the facts here, isn't he support police from Oklahoma from his state? If he's looked at the facts, he's not going to be pissed. So I hope that information is wrong. I guess we'll see, huh? This right here is coercion, witness tampering. You knew I was supposed to testify in the murder trial of a police officer trying to help me who is in support of women getting away from domestic violence. And he, t he took a hit, a heavy, heavy, hard hit. The governor should have stepped up and helped him. We were a little disappointed in that, but surely he's not pissed that a woman has police helping her from somewhere else uh, got information that somebody was trying to hurt her again. Mr. Perry, I'm not going to be a part of your crime. I'm just not. You're trying to cause me duress. You, you and David and Calvin. You three, all of you, all five of you are, but those three in particular are intending to cause me duress with intent to coerce a lie. I'm not going to lie for you. I don't give a shit about you. We all want you stopped. The, the, the human suffering that you're causing is making everybody very, very angry. And that's why you're getting caught so much, sir. I've said that. I shouldn't have to repeat myself. Listen, I worked it with federally elected officials, with surgeons, with very powerful people all my life. I'm raised in the home of a powerful man. And you don't get that. You're not putting it together. You don't get it, do you? What that means is... Um, one time is all I say it. I'm used to being around very smart people. They get it. Boom. The first time I say it. When I say the cause and the effect is you cause suffering, you're going to be stopped. You're going to cause suffering. You're posing a threat. You're going to be stopped. 
We're establishing Mains Ray that you premeditated. You sat down. You had a little meeting. And you all decided, here's what we're going to do to cause Cynthia catastrophic, profound loss. Losing a home and a car is pretty profound. You've already caused that more than once. This is not the first car in the first home. People were mad about it, Mr. Perry, when you tried to get in the way of me getting the home and the car. They were pissed. There's not going to be a new home. There's not going to be a new apartment and a new car. And then I threw a fit, so you got out of my way. Stopped butting in. And uh, I guess it was person called over here and said, see, now she can't say she didn't get her new car and her new apartment. And the guy goes, are you shitting me with that? Did you see what she had to go through just to get a little bitty apartment? A little bitty old beat up car? Why the hell does he do that to her? And I promise you, it makes people mad. We don't like them up here. We don't like that. We don't like it. No one does. If you're normal, Josh, governor. I mean, why would the governor be mad? I hope that's not, I hope that information is just way off wrong. So he goes, uh, I promise you the second she gets it, he'll be start trying to take it away from her. And he has. Grand larceny with intent to coerce. Everybody's noticing, Mr. Perry, there's two fishy things. Well, there's a bunch of fishy things around you, but there's two really big ones. One is, she's too smart to be broke, and he won't ever let her in court. When you hear her talk, you can not, now you know why. So, you're not fooling anybody. I said that. If you think you're fooling somebody, I think it's the other way around, sir. Nobody's as dumb as you. I've never seen anything like it. I don't say it twice. Never had to. Actually, even in a strip club with, you know, a lot of those girls are on something and I didn't finish high school. One time, sir, is all I had to say it. And they got it. When you bother me, you get told on because you piss people off. The human suffering that you're causing is outraging a lot of people, all the wrong people. Outraging them. Outraging them, David, Calvin, Joe, Josh, Mr. Powell, Mr. Perry, and Mr. Robertson, outraging them. It's not hard to get information at all. It's not hard. Every day you're caught. You got caught Friday. I bailed on an appointment. You coaxed. You coaxed it. You set that appointment. I didn't know that initially, but guess what? I found out in time not to go. I bailed on it. <laughs> My guys tell me, bail on this right now. We just... We just uh, got, this is, this is Perry's guy. This is bad. Get out of there. So I had to call the guy. An emergency came up. This and this and this happened. I'm not going to make it. And instead of saying, okay, thanks for letting me know. Call me if you want to reschedule. He didn't say that. He got real quiet like he was trying to fucking think up an excuse to make me go up there anyway. Like he, he, got, he just got real quiet like he didn't know what to say. And I repeated myself, sir, I can't make it. I've had an emergency, X, Y, Z happened. I finally had to hang up on him. Yep. I finally had to fucking hang up on him. Because normally what would happen is you have a schedule, an appointment that had nothing to do with Perry. They're not coaxing me into something that's going to hurt me. You call and you have to schedule, I have to reschedule it. I have an emergency, I got to reschedule. Oh yes, thanks for calling. Would you like to, would you like to do it Friday? I mean, something. Nothing, not a word out of this guy. He got real quiet. Like he didn't know what to think. You got caught. You got caught all weekend. You got caught all morning. Isn't she going to go to work yet? Isn't she going to go to work yet? We've called Uber Eats. We've called Grubhub. We've called all of them. Because that's what we do. We're hacking her phone. We're going to fuck with her money. We're going to use her privacy, her job. The place that everybody else gets to go and make money and not worry. That they're going to lose everything that's important to them. I, I do. I have had to all these years. Go to work and every conversation I have with every single person at my work, I have to be very, very careful what I would say. I'd have to bullshit like a motherfucker. Because I could at any moment, if I said it, said the, and, and it's not even if I say something... Uh, if I say where I live, if I hinted where I live, if I hinted at my real name, if I hinted at, uh, you know, even if you, you've seen how it's, if, if somebody goes, oh, I'm going to throat punch that guy, they take, oh, that's a threat. Oh gosh, that's a threat. I'm talking about sex crimes, crime causation. 
in that context. Oh, it's lewd and lascivious. So I, it was that. It's that bad. They're just looking for a way to find to arrest you, sin. Two police officers told me in August 2015. Just looking for something. So watch yourself. He's an asshole. You know those two guys, Mr. Perry, that um, told our guys. I don't know if they told our guys or our guy. I can't. It's been a while, so I don't remember exactly how this came to be. But the guy goes, that asshole comes up here, prances around like that's like Cynthia's his girlfriend. That's not his girlfriend. She hates him. And you know what? You know how often I call my girlfriend's family. Never. But if I do, it's to find out what does she want for Christmas or her birthday <clears throat> it, or Valentine's Day. It is not ever to ask them to get her information off of her car so I can take it away from her. Never would I do that. He's a piece of shit. And that's why you get caught all the time because that's how everybody else sees you. You might have your five guys on your payroll or your six guys on your payroll. They like your money. They don't like you. Ask them to work for free. Ask them to do the same exact thing that they're doing now for free. And see if they'll do it. But guess what? A lot of other people can't stand you because you're an asshole. You're mean. You're cruel. And that's why it's not that hard to get information. Some people on your payroll are helping us, Mr. Perry. I promise you. You guys went up to the post office at the airport. How would you know that I had been up there for stalking? How would you know I'd been to the airport post office but for stalking, hacking, peeping, and uh, be able to ask them, did she file a complaint about the mail? Do you know that you got the truth out of that person or not? Or how do you know that's even where I filed that? How do you know that's even how that's going to work? How do you know my guys didn't file it? Nobody's going to tell you anything because you're dangerous, sir. TPD gave my police report right over to you. Nobody's going to tell them anything either. This is because of that. And then and then we have now a dead lucky and an almost dead framed mic. It got even worse, deeper cover when you did that. Where You're dangerous. No, but listen to what I'm saying. Write it down because I'm not going to repeat it again. You can make all the fucking phone calls you want to make. You can go make all the inquiries you're going to make. You guys are dangerous. No one is giving you information that will get somebody else hurt. Not going to happen. Because you kill people. We're not depraved. We don't show depraved indifference. If there's anything that we can do or that we know beforehand to put a stop to it before you can do it, we do it. If we had known about Lucky, we would have told him. If they had known that I was going to get a brick thrown at me on the highway, they'd have told me. And I would have gone a different way. 98% of the time, we do get it. Nobody's, no human can get all of it. It's not possible. But we get 98% of it, and that's a lot. But you can make all the fucking phone calls you, you want to make. Nobody's going to tell you a fucking thing because you're dangerous. And everybody else doesn't show depraved indifference to human life like your people. It is pathetic. I can't imagine the governor would be pissed that I'm safe. I can't imagine that. Surely that is bullshit. Surely that's misinformation. Surely he's not depraved. So, you got caught again today because you're fucking with me, Mr. Perry. I don't want to hear from you. I don't. I don't give a shit about you. Once you're in jail, I can have my privacy back. My family and I are safe. We're not constantly under threat, constantly in crisis mode, constantly trying to s resolve a problem you caused. And I will never be broke again, and Mike gets to go home and be with his family. So I promise you, I don't want a thing to do with you ever. I wouldn't help you if you were on fire and had to pee. Wouldn't, wouldn't do it. I'd let you burn. You're dangerous. You're a threat 24-7. You don't have my consent to peep. You don't have my consent to hack. Get the fuck out. I'm not going to lie for you. I'm not going to contribute to your crime. I'm not going to be complicit with your crime. I'm not going to participate in your crime in any way, shape, or form. If everybody else does it, Mr. Perry, I am not doing it. I watched my granddad show me what leadership looks like. I get it. I've lived it. Yeah, there you go. He's still on my phone. You see, he just did that. I watched my granddad show me, Mr. Perry. Get out of my phone, weirdo. 
Get out of my phone. Hacking is a crime. You don't have my consent. Get the fuck out of it. He just altered my evidence right there. Did you guys see that? I didn't do that. I didn't want to change the page. He did that. Altered evidence. You are something. You have no personal... You have no self-control, do you? None. Low IQ and no impulse control. Criminals have. Criminologists tell us. That's a common thread among criminals. No impulse control. No self-control. You can't control yourself. And no a low IQ. If I have to say the same thing over and over and over again and explain to you what this isn't meant to be taken literally... When I say it to anybody else, they don't take it that way. Why do you? Everybody else knows what Grey's Anatomy means. Meredith Grey wasn't making a threat when she said she felt dark and twisty. Yet all of you guys have to have every little thing explained. Like this is kindergarten. We repeat the same thing over and over and over. You bother me, you get caught. You invade my privacy, you get caught. You make contact with me, Mr. Perry, when I've told you and told you and told you to get the fuck out of my life. You get caught. You cause me loss. You get caught. There's a reason for that. You, you, you don't, you know, you're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of fucking trouble. What is it you want with my car? All the time. You always want to get my car. Because 2019 was two cars ago. Mr. Perry. Lucky was upset about that. She, he's took, he's took every fucking thing she's got. She's got a little bitty, a little bitty storage unit full of junk. And an old beat-up car, and he wants to take that, too. What the hell's wrong with him? Do you think people think that's cute? Do you think they, people think that's cute, Mr. Roberson? They've turned against you, sir. They've turned against you. What is this about the honking? When she goes outside, honk. I want her to know we're not leaving. I, I just thought people were going to their car. I didn't realize you had contacted my neighbors and told them to honk when I go outside. And that you don't want to leave. That's stalking, Mr. Robertson. That's a crime. It's a felony crime, sir. You don't contact my neighbors and ask them to harass me for you. The whole thing is stalking, right? Remember? Which is felony. What did the video just last night say? We need our victims to understand stalkers are dangerous. Don't take it for granted. They're dangerous. They will kill you dead. 75% femicide victims were first stalked. TPD, you need to keep up. You need to fucking keep up with policing in the rest of the country. You're not getting it done. It's very disappointing. If I have to, you, if I have to get protection from police from somewhere else, there's something wrong, sir. With that, Captain, something is very wrong with that. Very, 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 very wrong. And you didn't give me the McNamara email, and you didn't give me that thing I just quoted. You didn't give me this, uh, you didn't give me that either. Someone else did from a police department from a different place. If somebody else has to do that because you gave my police report right over to the offender, there's something wrong with that, sir. Telling a victim I don't take your evidence, something wrong with that too. I don't, I didn't come here to pick a fight with y'all. I, I, half the time when somebody does something to me, as you can see today, I don't call y'all. I don't need to. Don't need to call TPD. I have help from somewhere else. I did. I told you I could sue you for doing what you did to me. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is out cop you, and I have. It's not been hard. You know, you guys are not even trying. I, if you're not on the payroll, it surprised the hell out of me. We've heard rumors that you are. But we also heard rumors that it was put some people put the money in evidence. And Mr. Perry complained he wasn't getting a cover-up, so he had it stolen back. I, I don't know. That's, uh, that's just rumors we've heard. We have not actually been able to confirm that. You wanted my neighbors to honk and make sure I know you're not leaving? You're still going to stalk me? You're still going to break the law? Okay, well, we'll let the judges know and I'll let everybody know. What is this? Is she home right now? My guys are recording y'all all fucking day. Sin all morning. All they've been talking about is what food delivery you're going to work for. Is she broke? Is she going to work? Which one is she going to work for? We got to call Grubhub, confirm does she work for them or not. Uber Eats. They sat there and listened to you all morning. You got caught again. You're under investigation, Mr. Perry. You don't seem to get it. 
I'm not. I'm getting this information from somewhere. I can't do that by myself, sir. Most people are smart enough and have the good sense to stop. When their crime keeps coming out and more and more and more and more and more and more. And you guys just act like you just don't get it. Honk if she goes outside. We want her to know we're not leaving. We're still going to stalk her. We're still going to harass her. We're still going to cause duress until, you know, she subjugates and lies for us and comes complicit with our crime. Jesus. Wow. Okay. I said no. I'm not going to be complicit with your crime. I'm not going to lie for you. I, I, I've done without electricity and food for a week not to do that. Didn't change a fucking thing, did it? If I'm living under a bridge, you can't watch me on my, you know, cameras. There's no cameras under the bridge. Especially if I'm moving around. Leave me the fuck alone. When you bother me, you get caught. You got caught all morning. All fucking morning. You got caught all weekend. You got caught Friday. Disappointment is not what you think it is. Perry set this up. You were coaxed into it. And you need to get out of it right now. You were caught Friday because you were going to, you posed a threat. TPD didn't call me. TPD didn't call me and say, oh, you got a threat. My guys from somewhere else, TPD called me. I, You know, you choose what you choose. You guys are grown men. I didn't make you do the stuff you do. I, I've really been disappointed We've begged and pleaded and whined and cried and not said, I kept my mouth shut for a long time. Because that police report happened in 2016. We're now in 2022. This was seven years ago. We're just now kind of getting expressing disgust with it. Just now. I, I'm, I've been very gracious. I didn't have to do that, did I? I've been very, very, very gracious. Because you're police, and I come from police, so... We took a step back trying to give you guys some time to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do and you didn't. I don't know what to do now. What am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna um break the law. I'm not not gonna do it. They wanna take my car and try to coerce me to break the law, I'm still not gonna break the law. What I asked you to do, Mr. Perry, is leave me the fuck alone. You've been recorded every fucking day since two thousand nineteen trying to take my car. You've tried, you've done a lot of things to try to take my car. Those recordings are somewhere, Mr. Perry. They've already been played in court. Because if you're calling a guy about buying my vehicle before you even have it, uh, that guy's going to probably get in to put a wiretap on him. Why are they calling him? What else is he doing in this? They're going to dig. Your crime's been dug, dug into more than ever in your life. All of you. It's not just trolls. You got a little weirdo club going, right? Listen, I, you know, I don't know what to, I, I have no words for this. I really don't. All morning, he goes, uh, he calls me all morning. I have a secured phone. You watch me in my house talking to him. These, he's like, he's got, uh, all morning, we're sitting here listening to him. They're chomping at the bit for you to start working. They have called all kinds of people. Call Grub Hub. Guess what? Maybe they've been told not to talk to you. Not to tell you the truth. Not to confirm or deny anything. I don't know. I know that before anything is said or done, my guys have already had everything all set up. And I said that. You going to call Upworks? You want to call Upworks and tell them don't give her any work? I had already told my guys, here's what I'm going to do. They already had something set up at Upworks. So when you call and tell them don't give her any work, you're caught. Do you think we're stupid? We're doing what you've not seen done done before. We have done more to stop your crime than anybody you have ever met in your life, Charles. Your criminal ass is getting kicked harder than ever in your life. And you just go right back at it. I don't like you. You're not loved and wanted. But you're being caught in crime more than ever in your life. And you can't seem to get a grip on reality, sir. You gotta have a lot of power to get me a puzzle like the Fabian puzzle in jail. You gotta have a shit ton of power to be able to do that. 
You are picking a fight with people you cannot beat. You go ahead and try. I'm going to sit here and laugh at you. I'm going to sit here and laugh at you. You know what it looks like? You know what a big person, an adult, has a little two-year-old kid? And they're holding the kid's head out. And the kid's swinging at him and they can't even get close. For 10 years, it's been that way for you. That's exactly what you look like. That's exactly what you look like. You don't even know who's helping me. You have no idea, do you? And you look like that. You're f picking a fight with people you cannot beat. You go ahead and tell yourself you can. I'm going to sit here and laugh at you. And then when you get caught, don't cry. You asked for it. You fucking ask for it. You do every day. And we deliver every fucking day. We're tired of the suffering that you cause. That's it. That's all this is about. You're committing a crime. Your conduct is offensive. It's way outside social norms. You are bizarro. You are as deviant as it gets. You have no clue how to get women to like you. But then you're not after that. If, you, if a guy wants women to like... I've dated a lot of guys. I was married for 10 years. I know what men do if they like women. They're trying to get women to like them. I know what my husband did. I know what Fabian did. I know what, you know, everybody does that wants a girl to like them. They don't act like you. They're not creepy. They're not intrusive. They're not little butt-ins. They're not pathetic. You act like a guy who wants deviant men to like him. Because women are turned off by peeping toms. It's illegal for a reason. <coughs> All guys don't act like you for a reason, sir. Like the guy said, I never call my girlfriend's family ever. Because it's weirdo. And if I did, it's to find out what kind of gift to get her. Not get information off her car so I can take it away from her. That's not how you get a date. So, you're not, you know, it's not that you want women. It's not that. That is not it at all. You can tell what people want by what they do. If I want to go to the grocery and get groceries, I'm going to get my car and I'm going to drive to Walmart or Target or Reesers or a grocery store and get groceries like people do when they want to buy groceries. I don't go to my car and drive down to the, uh, you know, TJ Maxx or Ross Dress for Less and walk in where there's nothing but clothes if I want groceries and then complain they don't have groceries in this fucking store I didn't go to the grocery store did I so then one has to if I do that every fucking day for 12 years one has to wonder maybe she doesn't actually want groceries I mean you don't make that same mistake every fucking day for 12 years so what is it you want it's not women I'm not giving you a cover up I've done I've worked my ass off and sacrificed greatly and done without done without my basic needs being met to fight your crime so I'm not going to give you a cover up and I'm not going to lie for you you are a piece of trash you need to be locked up you need to be stopped so when you guys are caught what the fuck do you think that is you're being stopped now go ahead and have the neighbors honk when I walk outside. When you pester me and when you cause loss and crisis and you harass and coerce and cause duress, things don't go well for you. You're seeing things happen you've not seen before. Right now it's just flicking at you. But you do what you do. You have sat down and you've all decided that you're all these highly intelligent, powerful people. Okay. So all morning, they got y'all trying to hurt me again using my job. And the only way you could do that is invading my privacy in the most weirdo, disgusting way on the planet. Hacking, peeping, stalking. So do what you do, but please know when you cause me hardship, loss, and suffering, the goal is to end that. Not just for me, all your victims. End the suffering. End it. When you do something that is illegal, it's because people made it illegal because they don't like it. We don't tolerate that kind of shit in a civilized con uh, society. It is outrageous. 
And so, when you do that, things people don't like, they're not going to like you. The chick that I talked about that talked to my guy and said they are scared to death of Fabian because they all came traips, traipsing in here telling us we have to, you guys have to make Cynthia not like Fabian. Why? What the business is it of yours? So if she won't, if she completely refuses, we've got to subjugate her with another false arrest, find something for us. And she was like, what in the fuck kind of assholes do that? What, what kind of weirdos do that? They're scared to death of Fabian, she says. She tells our guy. She said, that Perry guy, people hate when he comes in. And David, too. They're fucking creepy and they're asshole. We don't like him being in here. We don't like it. I, they walk in like they think they're God. We hate it when they come in. Hate it. They're assholes. They're cruel. They're mean. They ask us to do things we don't want to do. We feel like we don't have a choice. We're sick of it. Everybody's sick of it, Perry. The hardship. Everybody's tired of watching you make people suffer. You want my car. You want my car. You want me kicked out. You want me out of Oklahoma. Over and over and over. We've already said that. You got caught talking about it. You got caught re being recorded talking about it. Mr. Perry, you were already recorded and recorded and recorded and recorded talking about it. It's illegal. Stop. Because if you don't, when you're getting told on, that's you being stopped, dumbass. You're not all there, are you? I'm tired of your slow. Listen, I don't repeat myself, sir. I don't. You need to keep up with everybody else. You're in a lot of trouble. A six-year-old would have got the pattern years ago, the third time it happened. When you fuck with me, you get told on. When you fuck with me, you guys get caught. When you fuck with me, you get told on. When you fuck with me, you get caught. Why might that be? Fabian puzzle. Harassment email. McNamara email. Mike was drugged to email. Ringtone email. Get in her, call Grubhub, get her, go up in, to the post office at the airport and find out if they, she filed a complaint up there. What'd they tell you, David? What'd she say? How'd you know it was even up there? What did she tell you, David? It's none of your business, first of all. It's not your business, first of all. David and Charles. Get out of my life. Get out of my business. You don't have a choice. We caught you today again because you don't have a choice. It is bizarre at this point you think you do. Caught you again today. Tell them to honk when she goes outside. We want her to know we're not leaving. Really? You're going to leave on your own or it'll be done for you. When you, you're getting told on, that ought to tell you something. You won't like it. You won't like it if they have to do it for you. What are you guys not able to do? I mean... You can't. You got. You need to act like a big boy. Comply with the law. Get the fuck off me. Get off me, Charles. Get off me, rapist. You're not loved. You're not wanted. But you are told on like a motherfucker. Like never before in your life. You're told on and told on every fucking day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today. This morning. You don't know who's helping me. You can't get to that. Sorry. This time you're not getting away with it, are you? Are you? Are you getting away with it this time? What's the governor pissed off that I have that I'm safe today? Because I got told here's what they're trying to do to you today again. Why is he mad about that? He shouldn't be. Is he depraved? I don't think he is. I think that was misinformation. Surely that's not right. Surely he would not be supportive of domestic violence. Cop killers. Surely not. I'd like to ask him if he is upset. Have him call me. He and I need to chat. I need to get him on the right page. He's not on the right page if he's uh, mad that these criminals got caught again. Wow. Dear Jesus. Wow. He's out of the loop. You can tell. Yep. Okay. So all day... I'm texting the, the attorney. Look at this. They're calling Grubhub and Uber Eats and trying to find a wins, you know, getting information that's private information you have no business having. Butt out. Butt the fuck out. 
Do you understand me? You don't have a choice. If I know about it, that ought to tell you you don't have a choice. If I know you went up to the post office and asked, did you file a complaint up here? Then you got a problem. That means you don't have a choice. Butt out. Butt out, Charles. Get out of my life. All you had to do is leave me alone. I moved twice to get away from you, and I didn't tell anybody. But a few close friends, you are a problem. You are dangerous. Had you left me alone then, you wouldn't need a cover-up now. Had you gone out and spent all your time with your constituents like you're supposed to, you wouldn't need to lie right now, and I am not going to lie for you, Mr. Perry. I'm not lying for you. I've done a hell of a job putting a stop to your crime, and I'm very proud of that. I'm extremely proud of that. I'm Chief Hall's granddaughter. His legacy is not for sale. I will not participate in your crime. I'm not going to help you. Listen to the words I'm saying. We're all sick of, you, of the suffering you're causing. We're sick of you. We're sick of you. And the suffering that you're causing. And anybody that would support you in that, maybe need to go to jail with you. Maybe, maybe they need that. What Depraved indifference. Depravity of mind. Why in the hell would you support what he's doing? I understand, Mr. Perry. We gotta, my guy's like cracking up one day, and he's like, and it's it's been a little bit since this happened, and he was like, Perry just called and asked this guy if they could get you on espionage, and the guy's like, she's not selling secrets to a foreign government. I don't think she even has secrets. She's stopping a sex crime, Mr. Perry. Are you not familiar with what espionage is? She doesn't have access to information that can endanger the United States of America, military or anything. She doesn't work for the NSA or anything to be able to sell it. She's not selling secrets to a foreign government. That's what espionage is. She's, help, she's stopping a crime, a sex crime. You seem to be not all there. You seem to be unfamiliar as to what espionage is. It's not what she's doing. So, Mr. Perry, wow, you, you're something. Shut the hell up. Shut the fuck up. Why can't you control yourself and be normal? And get off your fat, lazy, perverted ass and go work. Why can you not do that? Because everybody that is doing that doesn't need a lie or a cover-up, and you do. Other men can get a date. And they don't peep, and they don't hack, and they don't act all squirrely like you. You embarrass me. I would not walk in a room with you for millions. You embarrass the ever-living hell out of me. Get off your fat, lazy, pervert ass and go fucking work. Most of us never need to buy one cop or one judge, ever. How many of you had to buy? Like a bunch. You can't keep up. You can't keep, you can't do it, can you? So he's like, tell, he's like telling, he goes, this guy's trying to explain to Mr. Perry what espionage is. She's not committing, she's not selling secrets to foreign governments. She's trying to stop a sex crime, sir. So I don't think that would work. I don't even have that kind of information. We don't, that's never discussed either, Mr. Perry. Here we go again with, if it's not been discussed, then maybe you ought to, you know, not lie about it. Like a political vendetta. When one's never been discussed, then it's not an issue, is it? I'm sitting here telling um, the TPD, uh, you guys need a threat management unit like they have at LAPD to deal with stalking complaints. And that'll probably reduce your murder numbers. Premeditated murder typically involves some stalking, even if it's not a stalking case like mine, domestic violence. Because guys who can pre plan a murder typically watch the person they're going to kill. When they're planning all this crap, first degree murder, to find out what their schedule is so to know the most opportune time to murder them. Do they not? I'm a criminal justice student. So, stalking may not always involve domestic violence. LAPD saying we make sure we tell our victims this, these guys are dangerous. These guys are dangerous. I mean, you got to keep up with other police. So, they're telling us, um, they're, uh, no, I lost my train of thought. Um, there, the th if, if I'm telling Chief Franklin that, Mr. Perry, I would like to see TPD get a threat management unit and handle stalking complaints a lot better than you handled mine. Is that not a little bit of lobbying? 
I think it is. I think that's exactly what that is. I'm not going to accuse Chief Franklin of stalking me because he's not stalking me. John Ensign pissed me off more times than I can count. Never accused him of stalking because he's not a stalker. Uh, what's his name? Uh, John Porter did too. Um, so did Randy Nagabauer. He voted against my child abuse thing that was federal. It wasn't mine, but it was one, the bill, bill I supported. We, we, it was mine in New Mexico. We were working on it. Same kind of thing. Same kind of bill. And uh, he voted against it twice. Never accused him of stalking me, Mr. Perry. Because he wasn't a stalker. He just, I just didn't like the way he voted on that bill. He voted no, and I wanted him to vote yes. And he did it not once, but twice. John Porter pissed me off. In Ensign pissed me off. John Lopez and I had a yelling match. I was screaming at each other over the phone. He's telling me I'm high maintenance. And he, he was the chief of staff for a United States senator. He didn't have to call me back at all. He did. He called me back and said, you're high maintenance. When you want to make a change in society or in rules or policies or whatever, you got to say what it is you want changed. So I didn't appreciate the way TPD handled my case at all. It was way out of line. Twice. One of them was maybe it's stalking related. Here's the background on it. Here's the evidence on the background of it. And it might also have something to do with a murdered police officer, by the way. Oh, we don't take evidence. Why? At a police department, would you not take evidence? Twice, I'm told that. Why? At a police department, would you hand the stalking complaint over to the offender and cause me to lose my evidence? Why the fuck would you do that? I'm not going to sue you, but I'm going to out-cop you. Watch me. I'm very good at what I do. Very fucking good at what I do. No one has caught Perry's crime like me. Nobody. I can't do it alone. But I've done a lot by myself, you have to admit. Pinto, Mickey James, I got those boys talking, didn't I? Nice and chatty. In a text. Mr. Roberson said, yes, I gave you arsenic and phenobarbital in a text. I'm, yeah, I'm grabbing your crotch and I'm not going to stop. Even though you just in a text asked me to stop. Wow. I would say I'm pretty fucking good. Or they're pretty fucking stupid. You guys figure that one out. I don't know. But this car accident might be related to a stalking thing. You're the police. you got to make a determination. I'm the victim. I've just been traumatized every day for 12 years. I've been traumatized and traumatized and traumatized. You know how it's traumatizing when you can't go to fucking work without someone trying to take your car or, or hurt you some very catastrophic way? you got to eat. you got to go to work to eat. It's a necessity. It is a basic necessity. I'm not getting harassed when I go to the nightclub. I'm getting harassed going to work. I'm a victim of a crime every fucking time I get up and go to work. Everyone else can go to work and not have to think twice, not have to think about it. Not me. Not me. I'm a victim of a crime, and if I'm not very, very careful, I will have a catastrophic injury that is in violation of a law. But who the fuck puts someone through that every day? Do you see other guys do that, Mr. Perry, and get a date with a woman? Get women to like them? I think that you're not interested in women is what I think. That means because you've done the same thing for 12 fucking years every day. You're repulsive. When you cause me suffering, everybody gets mad at you. When you cause me hardship, everybody gets mad at you. When you terrorize me, everybody gets mad at you. When you invade my privacy and you start butting into shit you shouldn't even know about, everybody gets mad at you. And you get caught in your crime more than ever in your life. And you are not getting it. That's the cause and effect. And you are slow. That by now you can't see the correlation. I don't even have words for that. I say it one time, sir. I've worked with very intelligent people all my life. Surgeons, doctors, federally elected officials. One time is all we say it. When I'm working with doctors, I'm running down the hall telling them about a life and death matter. I think Ms. Jones has a blood clot because of this, 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 and this. As I'm following down the hall, room to room, as they go from room to room, they're busy. Working. They don't need a lie or cover, by the way. Not one that I worked with needed a lie or a cover-up, sir. Busy. Working. And they have to then turn around and tell me in 30 seconds what I'm supposed to do. 
and they never ever had to repeat it, nor did I. It's irritating as fuck that we have to say the same thing over and over and over. People don't like what you're doing. People don't like what you're doing. It's illegal because people don't like it. When you do things people don't like, they don't like you. They're telling on you. Or we get a wiretap order or we get whatever we get. My guys don't know. They don't share that with me, how they get the information they get. I'm out of the loop on that. And it's not your business, is it? Nobody owes you any explanations. You know what, you us? You owe us. You comply with the law. You're a danger. You're causing suffering. You're causing hardship and everybody's pissed at you. Get out of my house. Get out of my life. Get out of my phone. Get out of my computer. Fuck off. All of you. You don't have a choice. As many times as if you got caught, you think you have a choice. It speaks to your delusion. It supports our shrink. No grasp on reality at all. Can't tell the difference between fact and fiction at all. Never responds properly to what's just said to him. I don't think he understands it. I think he doesn't even understand. I don't think any of them do. David and Charles are the worst ones. When she says something, he gets it wrong every fucking time. I think his IQ is too low to even qualify for the death penalty, 70. We want the death penalty. I don't think he'll qualify. It doesn't pass the Eighth Amendment test. He knows he's doing something wrong. He's lying about it. He's trying to make her lie about it. He's trying to make her contribute to it to cover it up, thinking that'll cover it up. So he knows it's wrong, or he wouldn't do that. But something's wrong with him that he's not stopping. Maybe he can't. Maybe he has no control. I don't know. So you guys got recorded all morning talking about it. Is she going to leave yet? I don't know. We're watching her. Oh, shit. She just got on our computer. Maybe not yet. Is she out of money? Does she have cash on her? Because you got cameras in my house, we can see we can see if she's got cash on her. We got cameras in our house. We know when she's getting ready to leave. We can call down the road and have somebody do whatever. We got to have somebody ordered from whoever she decides to work today, Uber, Grubhub, or uh, DoorDash, or whoever. Maybe I had a whole different plan today. Maybe I never planned to work at all. But you guys got busy on the phones, didn't you? And we heard all of that, or my guys did. They also record, I, I'm telling him, I'm trying to text Mallory, and he's jamming up my internet. I can't do it. I can't get through. I'm sitting here trying to get back on the internet. It's not working. I said rewind the tape, so he rewound the tape, because they watch every fucking thing you do in my phone. So, they've seen every time you jammed up my apps, and I couldn't work. So he rewound it, and he goes, yep, I can see it. You know, do what you do. But remember, nobody's caught your crime like we have, Mr. Perry. No one. And this whole thing here, this whole thing here, details over so much crime just right here, TPD. You got to keep up with us. We're not slowing down for you. Point out for me on Mike Neely where it looks like he was in a fight. Look at her son. He was in a fight. He's got, you know, bruised lip and shit. Look at Mike, nothing. Red swollen right hand. Well, there's an IV in it. Yeah, Governor, you wouldn't support that, would you? Please tell me you're not depraved and you would support the police officer. Your police officer from Oklahoma being shit all over like that, would you? If you do, you need to call me, sir. You're you're not in the loop on some things. Maybe we ought to bring you in. That is outrageous, sir. If that's the case, if that information was true, the governor's pissed. Really, I hope that information was just wrong as it could be. Um, here's the arrest report. If you don't want to look at the picture, or you're concerned that maybe I'm not seeing everything in the picture, I read the arrest report. What's it say right there on it? Suspect Neely had something to his face. He was found knocked out. I met him down at the hospital. His lip and nose were busted from a second incident when he was pulled off lucky after the whole fight's over. In Hotel John threw him face first into the floor, busted his nose and lip, and I noticed he had a red swollen right, right hand. See that? Nothing else. Read it yourself. You can, anybody can pull it off the docket. So uh, 
Governor, did you see that? Did you read that? Before you want to get all pissed? That's, that's outrageous. He's an Oklahoma police officer. We backed the blue. I would hope you would too. Yeah. If that was a TPD officer, let's say the captain that doesn't get it done like he should. Let's say that was him. Let's say he starts getting it done and that's him. I'm going to make sure I get him out too. I wouldn't put up with that crap for a minute. I've gone without electricity and food, sir, to make sure that Mr. Neely gets home and gets his, vo his story heard. And if it was TPD, I'd do the same fucking thing. It's police family. That's what you do. Okay, you can't fight crime and you're going to have, as long as the guy's out, what did they say on that video last night? Stalkers are reoffenders. They can't stop themselves. No control. They imagine there's something there that's just not there. They impose that on everybody else. They can't control themselves. So, um, they reoffend. He's not going to stop. Listen to the video. Those people are very good at what they do, Mr. Governor. If you if you want to know how to fight stalking crime, then you got to do what the successful people do. Okay, so this. <coughs> this was lucky. There's this. Let's go over this again. All this is crime. All this is about stalking. Look at the McNamara email. I'm going to have her false arrested. It supported what those two officers said, didn't it? And then it really supported it when you did it. Yep, and then you you gave my – what is this? I wanted your wife and Carl and Robin Tepper to watch you on your phone and your computer so when you hack and peep, they catch you. I wasn't going to tell them what you were doing. I wanted them to just watch you, and I wanted them to catch you, and your wife did, I heard. I heard you told her a judge let you do that, and her friends told her, no, contraire, move frere. Not how that works. He's lying to you. Judges do not grant. Private citizens. The uh, an okay to watch a woman in the privacy of her home against her will. So. You might want to straighten that out with Jackie. Because somebody else did. This. You're doing it now. Honking. I go tell my neighbors. If she goes outside honk. We want her to know we're not leaving. Okay. Do that. I dare you. I dare you. Cost me more duress. Piss everybody off some more. Get caught some more. Because the reason we got caught, you guys got caught Friday, Saturday, Sunday, at the airport, inquiring about a postal complaint, mail fraud complaint. How do you know my guys didn't make it? You don't know. But we know you tried to get information that you're not privy to. You don't need to have that. It's not your business, is it? I'm sure they'll be in touch. Then you're harassing me. And then you want to say when I complain about it, you're being harassed. And everybody knows that's bullshit. So if you think you're fooling people, Mr. Perry, think again. Remember, you're slow. Your IQ is very, very low. You're the one being fooled, sir. They're fooling you. If they're making you think they believe you, they're fooling you. And you're, and you, you know, you're not hard to fool. I fooled you. I fooled you very easily. Okay, this is, um, Governor, your guy, your person, an officer who sacrificed to, you know, protect and serve, as was uh, Chief Miller in the state of Oklahoma. You owe them something, sir. You just do. Depraved indifference to human life is not an option, and I hope the information we got was wrong. I hope that was incorrect. You need to get in the loop. I'm happy to talk to you about it, but I can, there's only so much I can tell you. I said he was drugged before anybody else said it. He wasn't on the docket yet. I'm happy to review this. Lucky, uh, this is all the evidence I got, TPD. I'm good at what I do. It's not that hard, actually. We poisoned you. Yes, we did. We poisoned you. Uh, there's the black SUV. I wrote the U.S. attorney. I didn't write the governor. I wrote the U.S. attorney. Maybe I should have wrote the governor. Anyways, uh, this was your agreement that you'd leave me the fuck alone. If you had been all these years visiting with your constituents, you could run and win, Mr. Perry, and you wouldn't need a lie and a cover-up now, which you're not going to get. You're not going to get it. I'm not going to help your crime. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. Look at that. January 2016. A false arrest isn't going to vindicate me, uh, Mr. Perry. 
a false arrest is not going to vindicate Mr. Perry from stalking allegations. It's going to prove he is. Murdering me isn't going to vindicate Mr. Perry from stalking. It's going to prove he is. 75% of femicide victims are stalked first, Mr. Perry. That's a high number. Did he go in the strip club and talk to you? Yeah, he did, but it's none of your business what he said. I've just now shared parts of that. I'm on the dean's list of criminal justice school, Mr. Perry. Uh, Mr. Perry. Governor, TPD, Criminal Justice School. I'm raised in four generations of police. I just started my third year. I'm on the dean's list. I'm not stupid. Mr. Powell was always looking, where's her whereabouts? What's her whereabouts? We got to find her address. Since I got back, constantly looking for my address, and that is not your business. Now, I'm going to say this again. Mr. Perry, the longer you peep and hack and try to bother me and you pester me, and the more you cause suffering and hardship, the more pissed off you make everybody. It is rape. I am not in love with you. You make my skin crawl. You're a reject. For 12 years, when you do things that are illegal, it's illegal usually because people don't like it when you do that. And when you do things people don't like, they're not going to like you. They're going to turn against you. All of you, David. The suffering is making people sick at their stomach and vomiting. And so we got you Friday. We get you every day. But we got you Friday. We got you yesterday. Um, Saturday, Sunday, and today. This morning. Ringtone. Get a ringtone. Get her shoe print. Get her back out on that club and on a schedule. So I can get her shoe print. Call Grubhub. Call Uber Eats. Find out when and how she works. Call Do DoorDash. Find out when and where she works. So, you got caught. Is she leaving yet? How much money does she have? Is she not leaving yet? All fucking morning. Now we're all pissed because we got caught. So when she goes outside, everybody honk. Make her feel harassed and coerced. Cause duress. You, call, you know my neighbors? You're not supposed to know anything about that. If you're not stalking, what did that guy say? For three, three of my people in my office just told me, how did they even know she was in Manford? Aren't the allegations stalking and harassment? We didn't know she was in Manford because we're not stalking her. So it sounds like he is, or he, she, he wouldn't have known that's where she was. Mr. Perry, you are loony tune as it gets. When in your lives has your crime been caught this much? When? I want a date. Who, what, when, how, where? Has your crime been caught this much? This much. When? When you bother me, that's what happens. You never get a date. You're not going to get a date. You're a turnoff. You need to get off your fat, lazy ass and quit perverting around and go work. I'm not going to lie for you. I'm not going to participate in your crime. I'm not going to. I said that. You try to make me, that's a crime. It's a severe, serious, sick, fucked up crime. I said no. I say it one time, and if you can't keep up, that's your problem, okay? Now, you're going to have to leave me alone because I don't want to hear from you. You're pissing me off. Get out of my house. Get out of my, my car. Get off my car. Get out of my computer. Get out of my phone. Y'all stop worrying about what I'm doing and go fucking work. Because the more you bother me, the more you get caught. It's like that's what you like. It's like you enjoy getting caught. Leave me alone. Everybody hates it when you are slow and everything has to be repeated for you. I don't like you. Don't contact me. When you do it anyway against my will and you invade my privacy and you cause hardship and suffering and loss, you get your criminal ass kicked harder than any ever, ever in your life before. All of you. Charles, I don't care what you think. You weren't asked. Act like you understand grown-up words. I don't care what you think. I didn't ask you. What did I ask you to do, sir? Leave me the fuck alone. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you want. I don't give a shit about you. What I said is, get out of my life. Don't contact me again. Don't cause any suffering for me again. Because every time you do, it pisses me off. When you piss me off, my guys go ape shit on you. And then you get caught. It's like you like getting caught. Because that's all you've gotten for 12 years. Nothing but that. You are not wanted. You are not loved. 
you are rejected and you're pissing everybody off. All of you are. David, those girls that uh, Godiva's complained about you creeping them out. A lot of girls complain about it. I don't like you either. I didn't come up here to pick a fight with you. I don't know what your problem is. Leave me the fuck alone because when you don't, you get caught too. Both of you. Calvin, you too. I don't even know you, Calvin. I've heard your name. That's it. I've heard your name in conversations. I have help. I can't do this alone. And it's power that you can't get to. You 12 years, Mr. Perry, you haven't gotten even close. You're like a little kid. Some, You know, a grown-up is holding them out while they're trying to hit, and they can't even get close. That's y'all. We laugh at you. It is ridiculous. The more suffering you cause, invading my privacy, contacting me, Mr. Pear, after I've asked you repeatedly to cut it the fuck out, the more loss and trauma and everything's a crisis and everything's a problem and everything's a big deal and everything's duress. I'm not going to lie for you. Nobody owes you one. Why can't you behave? Go be normal. Why can't you just go fucking be normal? Go work. Get off me, rapist. And then you won't need a lie. I'm not going to lie for you. And I'm not going to repeat myself again. You need to keep up with everybody else. I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Oh, God. It's too damn early for this shit. Leave me alone. Sir, please leave me alone. Okay, men, leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even... I don't want proof of this. Please leave me alone. Hey, men, leave women the fuck alone. When they're in public, when they're doing anything, you don't have the right to their attention. You don't have the right to step into their personal space. You don't have the right to them. Especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to, but even when they're not. Unless a woman is giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, then leave her the fuck alone. Find a date a different way. Okay? It's not clever. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage behavior. And you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her. And you need to leave her alone. And this is bacon. Leave me alone! Please! Just, just talk to me for two minutes. First, let me say that I'm happy that the lady in this video is okay. Second, let me break down what rape culture is. Rape culture is the fact that that man felt that he was entitled to some of this woman's time just because he said let me talk to you for two minutes doesn't matter if it's two minutes five minutes 20 minutes if she said no no means no mr perry i said no i say it once that's it i've lived a wonderful life with very smart people and i have zero patience for people like you none I'm not told who your leaks are, nor do I care. I don't give a fuck about you. I have cri kicked your criminal ass harder than anybody you know. I can't do that alone. I have help. Your crimes have not been this caught before because you fuck with me. Get the cause and effect. No one owes you a thing. You're breaking the law. You stop. You're causing suffering and duress. You stop. Control yourself. It's embarrassing the way you act. It's embarrassing. You are dangerous. All of you are. You are to stop, Mr. Perry. Stop yourself. You're getting caught because you're committing a crime. There's something to catch. You're making everybody mad at you. They've turned against you. Stop. Mr. Perry, control yourself. Go be normal. Go do normal. Get off your fat, lazy, perverted ass, sir. You don't have the right to rape me in my house. Get out of it. 
You don't have my consent. Get off me. Control yourself. You're pathetic. Leave me alone. And don't make me repeat myself again. Rape culture is the comments that she has on her video about how she should have just spoke to him or dressed differently. Rape culture is me taking the heat for calling out other men for their terrible behavior. Rape culture is trying to explain stuff as, oh, it's just locker room talk. No, it's not locker room talk. Talk, you should talk the same way wherever you are. We all know that rape is not about sex, it's about power. So for you to force yourself on somebody, even if you're just talking to them, is disgusting, dude. Leave me alone! Stop hitting me! Please, I can't live here anymore because you stopped me. That's no, why I'm no, no. Leave me alone! No, I will! You talk to me for two minutes, you no, leave me alone! No! Zero minutes! I don't want to ever talk to you guys! I don't ever want to hear your voice, see you! What, please, what God happened? bless you, but what please happened? leave me alone! Just, just, please leave me alone! Please, huh? Stop following me! You won't call the cops stop! I don't! Stop stalking me! Please, hey. I can't live here anymore because you stalked me! That's no, why I'm no, no. Just talk Leave me alone! Uh, I will! You talk to me for two minutes no, and I'll leave you alone! No! Zero minutes! I don't want to ever talk to you guys! I don't ever want to hear your voice, see you! What, please, what God happened? bless you, but what please happened? leave me alone! Just, just, please leave me alone! Please, huh? Stop following me! You won't call the cops Stop! I don't!